Shalom, can I give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shemir Shai, and double honors to the elders and apostles, Gregory Millstone, the rule, teach well. Here I'm at foxbusiness.com. Got a real nifty little article, you know, I saw today, but it looks like it was uh, published. Uh, hold on. Yeah, published two days ago. Published two days ago. So I the recheck the calendar. Um, you know, I'm just, you know, had to double check. I haven't really been paying attention to the days like that. Billionaire predicts probably recession in 2024. Suggests U.S. entering seven lean years of Pharaoh's dream. Right, so this guy, uh, Leon Cooperman, probably knows a bit more uh, than he's putting on, um, you know, mentioning this thing about Egypt. In connection with America, because we know that America is, in fact, uh, New Egypt. You know, Egypt was a home to many different peoples. America is a home to different peoples, stuff like that. There are uh, really a lot of sim similar similarities in that regard. Look at the back of the dollar. Um, look at the, all the obelisks and stuff that you see around here. Like the one in Washington, um, D.C., um, so yeah, America absolutely is, uh, Egypt and their reincarnation as well as Greece, Rome, uh, they have, um, pieces of Assyria in them as well with the military tactics and their cruelty. So they're really a lot of, a lot of different nations coming back, you know, um, that's what they did. They took different pieces of these different nations and, um, of course, Babylon too, right? It pretty much became um, you know, this nation here, the whore, uh, whore Babylon. So, a mega advisor's billionaire CEO and chairman, Leon Cooperman, warned Wednesday that while the U.S. economy is doing fine at the moment, there's a risk of a recession in 2024. You know, stuff that you know a lot of different people have always been talking about. We've always been blowing the whistle about this you know um saying hey man uh this is gonna it's gonna go down we've always been blowing that trumpet saying that this is gonna go down we've been talking about this for years now you know brothers and the truth um that that stuff was not gonna go good you know food prices already rose because this conflict and um you know ukraine that had an effect, then you had, you know, BRICS nations expanding, that's going to have an effect, that an effect. Uh, this war right now, this is going to have an effect, the one going on in uh, Israel, Palestine, and if um, it expands and brings Iran into the war, um, and America jumps in, something like that goes down, then it's going to expand even more, you know, it's going to just get worse, you know, but as I said before, it's... it's we're waiting and seeing, man. We're going to wait and see, you know. I've heard certain brothers say that Russia could possibly join in. I'm, I'm doubtful. I'm doubtful that Russia is going to take part. I think they're going to leave it to Iran if Iran gets in there. But, um, you know, China, Russia, you know, these nations, they've, they've been having talks, you know. And they, they've been clink, licking up with each other. And, you know, they've been telling, um, you know, uh, you know, basically been telling you know, Palestine, you know, just not Palestine, Iran, you know, you know, cool your jets, keep it cool here, you know, and it's all going to be all right. Just don't make any rash decisions, you know, always make it look like you're reacting, you know. And I was looking at that, I learned that, I was watching, that was name, Alexander Macarius. You should look him up on YouTube. He's uh, uh, one of these kind of political guys online that uh, talk about this stuff saves us the time of having to go out here and do the research and all that. You know, I'm not going to sit here and become a political expert. There's plenty of political experts out here. I'll just listen to their videos and uh, look it up for myself and uh, push it out. So when I asked the climb and call it down about the Federal Reserve's continual rate hikes and whether they will break commodity price hikes instead of a key element of inflation and commensurate quantitative tightening is indeed having an effect on the economic outlook right so i'm not going to get into all of that but i believe quantity of tightening is like when they stop like pushing out money into the economy and stop with like government handouts and shit like that i believe that's what that means don't quote me on that but 
pretty much, you know, the government they've been raising in, like inflation, trying to like tighten the economy and stuff like that um, to try to like slow things down and kind of bring the inflation rate, you know, down, you know, um, and stuff like that, which of course makes it harder for people to, you know, buy a house. And of course, it becomes the issue for people with mounting credit card debt and things like that. But um, basically, you know, it's not it's not getting any better. You know, like it says in uh, Isaiah 19, um, basically, you know, Egypt is like a drunken man staggered from his own vomit. You know, a little put a perverse spirit on the nation of Egypt. You know, which we see that you know already. And staggering around like a drunk in his own vomit, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, they can't, they can't get anything right. They're not going to get the inflation right or anything right. You know, like Habakkuk, the second chapter says, you know, will tend to lay himself with thick clay, stick debt, you know, this debt based economy, debt based system, um, because the um, currency is fiat, you know, it's all, it's all based around uh, debts. Um, you know, the times of old when we used to have, uh, you know, coinage and, and gold back dollars and things like that, that's gone. And, you know, the age of old, we used to have pieces of literal silver and you had to wheel it around and put it on a weight, on a weight scale. And that time is over. Um, and this is what we're dealing with right now. So let's get a little article. All right, so this is a website here. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You can just read it for yourself, to be honest. But this is Compassion.com. I don't know. It seems like some sort of child website for helping children, you know, sponsor a child. Like, you think you give the money to them, it's really going to go to some kid. Like, come on. Inflation identifies the problem of poverty, the poor lack of control over the purchasing power, and experience greater strain when prices go up. Help fight the effects of poor nation. I need to be that. So, what is inflation? Inflation is when goods and services increase in price over time. This is a shortage of the raw materials to produce goods that can increase inflation. Likewise, increased demand for products and services can also trigger inflation. Economists also report that a higher price of oil can majorly affect inflation rates because it's used to make and deliver so many goods. Right now, the price of oil, you know, increased because of the expansion of the big nations. I remember um, since that it's going to raise like commodity prices around the world too because basically geopolitical ties are changing and stuff stuff is changing, you know. I believe they call it like a volatile economy, so eventually it's just going to be one thing that's just going to break the, the straw that breaks the camel's back and, you know, bring it all bring it all down, you know. And that guy was talking about inflation, uh, a recession in 2024 that could will happen in 2024, you know. Um, the 2024 is coming soon. Uh, we'll see what all the pasta are. Uh, dubs that new year. You know, I think 2022 is a year that hopefully the Lord's prophecies come to pass, right? And uh, it kind of seemed like nothing was really going on for a little while, but then you know, towards the end of the year, we get this, you know? So, what is the relationship between poverty and inflation? Inflation intensifies the problem of poverty for people in lower income households. To me, already who already live hand to mouth paying more for potential goods like gas and food can be devastating right and it also kills the middle class you know because the middle class are also living you know paycheck to paycheck and actually the studies and stuff that show that most americans are living paycheck to paycheck and don't even have five hundred dollars for emergency expenses so you know they, they did all this stuff on purpose you know order at kale and you're gonna bring in you know mltb like it says and you know Revelation 13, 16 on down. Um, inflation also lowers the real minimum wage around the world, meaning it decreases the value of minimum wage and lowers the standard of living even more for those who rely on it, right? And that's why you see people having to work multiple jobs, you know, people having to work, um, you know, these gig jobs and things like that. You know, you know, brothers in this truth, uh, they work a lot of gig jobs because you don't have to... Um, you know, appear in no office you don't have to work on the on the shabbat you can just kind of uh you know kind of make your own schedule per se you know which is really really cool uh, if you're able to do that All right so 
the rest you really don't really need to get into but um, uh, wait, hold on this one that I want to see inflation flex poverty um, I think that was maybe the thing I wanted to get right so basically as inflation grows up people won't be able to get access to the foods you know some more supermarkets more businesses are going to close down that's going to cut off supply to the food um and that's going to cause famine you know it also talks about um you know how the the farmers would be astonished in second or just the 15th chapter so you got natural natural famines and those are going to cause by just making things not grow making crops fail and also um you know rising prices around the world people aren't going to be able to afford it businesses companies are going to shut down that's going to keep the food away from the people and that's just going to pretty much put stars lines and you know make people essentially beholden to the government and towards uh elites interests of the elites um so that was pretty much it just wanted to share these these two articles you know there's an, a connection between poverty and inflation As inflation goes up poverty goes up with it um so things just only gonna only get worse when the economic crash happens the famine comes you know martial law all that the one that i find in the show